Hi, so this is the spot welding machine that you can get from Quartz Components. I'll just give you an overview of uh, the machine and then show you the welds made by it so you can understand how the entire thing works. So first thing, the machine is powered directly from a 16 amps AC outlet. It is a high current machine, so make sure that your socket is capable of 16 amps. And then on the back side, you have the fuse holder just in case if you want to change the fuse. The machine also comes with uh, extra uh, spot welding bits, which is attached over here. And then on the front side, we have the main on off button. Uh, then you have an option to change the weld time, some extra fuse, just in case you need it. And then this LED turns on when the weld actually happens. So these two things are used to adjust the intensity of your weld. This determines how long your weld should take place. If you can see uh, right now it says one, but you can press these buttons to increase the weld time. So I have set it to nine or you can decrease it. So I'm setting it to one and it works fine with one. So I believe that this time indicates the uh, millisecond that the weld happens. So one is for one millisecond, nine is for nine millisecond likewise. And then here the heat control actually determines the intensity of the weld. If you set it to maximum, a uh, high current flows. If you set it to minimum, minimum amount of current flows. So based on the thickness of your nickel strip, you might wanna either increase it or decrease it. And then this button over here is for uh, welding. Whenever the weld is happening, this button turns on. I'll just show you a quick demonstration. And of course, this uh, machine is controlled using a foot pedal, which you can see here. So whenever I press this, the weld on LED turns on and it automatically turns off after the weld time, which we have set here. So yeah, the machine works pretty fine. I have made some welds to show you as a sample. So this one over here is done on an 18650 with a 0.15 mm nickel strip. As you can see, the quality of the weld is really good. And the same thing is done on a 32650 cell. And the thickness of this nickel strip is 0.2 so yeah you might want to change the uh, heat control you want to increase it if the thickness of your nickel strip is high and you want to decrease it if the thickness of your nickel strip is low so uh, let me just show you a weld on this thing i'll just show you how it is done and you can have a quick look so you can see the quality of the weld is really good irrespective of how much pressure i put it put on it it's not gonna come off the same thing for here and even the connectivity between the uh, cell and the strip is really good. So let me just show you another weld. So I just have to keep the needles in place and then press the foot pedal. And that is it. The weld is already done. And you can see the weld up close over here. So this weld is light. You can increase the heat control if you want to uh, increase the intensity of the weld. Now let me just weld it to this one over here. So I'm not having a proper setup. I'm just showing you how the thing works. But yeah, you can use a proper cell holder and stuff while you're making your battery pack so that it's much more easier for you to do. So as you can see, another weld. Let me do one more quickly. Another. And I'll also do one more. So yeah, these are few more welds, and as you can see, the weld quality is really good. Again, I can increase the heat control over here. Let me just set it to eight to show you how the intensity of the weld changes. So let me go ahead and make one more weld. So if you take a closer look, you can see these things are harder than the previous ones. So if you want your weld to be much more stronger, you can use the heat control button over here. So that's it guys, this is how the machine works. Uh, you can buy the machine, the batteries, the nickel strip, the connectors, the insulation rings, everything from Quartz Components. 
if you have any questions you can contact us on this number over here or you can head over to our website and contact us over there thank you have a nice day bye bye